All right, guys, so here is my red journal for February. I wanted to have it out <clears throat> by Valentine's Day, but I was sick. And um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I wasn't able to work on it the way that I wanted to. But here it is. And I'm just going to show you, do a flip through. This will be on my Etsy shop um, today, which is Thursday the 16th and I will be loading it at about 7 p.m. Uh, let's say 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. It'll be up for sale on my Etsy shop. The link is in my bio. You can't click it. You just have to copy and paste it. So it is in there and yeah, so here you go. All right. So Again, this is my red journal. Every month I'm going to be doing a, a new color or a new theme. Next month, March, will be green. So if you like green, wait till next month. But this is the red one. I'm not a big fan of red, but I had a lot of stuff. So here we go. All right, so this is just a book that I had. I do have a tutorial on how I put the actual journal together on my YouTube channel. And I think there's like a little video kind of quick video of how I did it on here but yeah so this is just the cover of it I put a little kind of nameplate stamp there I love torn book pages and how they look when you glue them on to pages or books or anything like that I just love the effect that it gives I did decide to cover the um seam here because it had writing on it and I didn't like the way it looked I did leave the strings as long as they are because they can either be tied around the book, cute little heart charm. They can either be, you know, tied around the book if you want to do it that way, or you can cut them once you, you know, you purchase it. That's up to you. But I left it like that in case you wanted to add more charms or anything like that. You have that option. There is some ruffle or lace here on the edge here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go through it. So cute little library card. It says, I love you. Then I stamp on there on my heart. And oops, goes right back in there. And it's just like craft paper color. Cute little red stamp there. Little book. I think this is called a book plate, a label, whatever you want to call it. Then I made a belly band. Put this little journaling card in there. And I do like to leave blank pages for whoever gets it to either journal on or decorate it themselves. Let me move it up a little bit there. So there are quite a few blank pages. Here's just a little journaling card. You can put what you want in there. I added a little ribbon on the edge there because I thought it matched really well. Just a kind of antique page here. It was naturally aged already. I just added the little corner stamps on there. Another book page added to this one. This is like a thick cardstock. Some craft paper added some lace right here. Cute little ephemera decorations on there. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. It was some coffee dyed music paper that I used to make some doilies. And I thought this would be a cute little addition here. Let me see if I have something that I can show you with use this here and then you can put stuff in there if you'd like and kind of just add some more decorative touches to it so I left that open like that for whoever receives it and then blank page here just with a cute little red sticker another so this is a music sheet I just love that torn page effect it's not a pocket or anything it's just on there with the red roses also um <clears throat> sorry i'm having trouble breathing this is just a red i mean not red a pink heart die cut there blank pages i made a belly band and just add this little ticket in there you can use this as a journaling ticket if you want to use the back or if you want to you know decorate it gives you options to do whatever you want with that some blank pages this is actually an envelope I just added the little book page there this is an older vintage uh, postcard from the Virgin Islands I thought that was adorable so I added that in there <clears throat> just cute little 
red flower sticker there. I added all this lace and just kind of made a little pocket sort of belly band type deal. This is a vintage bingo card. Um, so you can use the back of it to journal on or just kind of leave it as is. I just put that in there so you know that there's like, you know, a pocket there. And then some old ledger paper. I made a little pocket with some scrapbook paper. Glued a little charm on there. Put a tag in there. And then I made this cute little bookmark. Added some ribbon or some lace. Cute little ephemera that I had. Just kind of layered it on there. And this is actually one of those paint chips from like Home Depot or Lowe's and just added a tassel on there put a little pocket there I thought that was adorable I love using those this was some packaging from a gift that I received and I just thought it was beautiful so I doctored it up a little bit and added a little button with some dangles and stuff on there I love it little mini uh, playing cards glued together in the fan and I just added some glued some scrap of paper on the back of the card so you can journal on that if you want to another bookmark made out of the book chips folded it in I mean book chips paint chips or paint samples from like Home Depot I like putting the um, put scrapbook paper book pages anything inside fold it in half add some washi tape I think I've made a tutorial on these. If not, then I can do that. Then I just added a cute little tassel with a charm. Covered up that middle part with some fabric. Just because it kind of just looked... I didn't like the way it looked. So I covered it up. Then you got some black pages. Some aged paper there. Then we're back to the other side of the same pages. So ledger paper. Just kind of added some little details in there. Made another pocket here and then just added some cute little decorative scrap of paper with like the cute little edges on there that match that just added a little bit of lace on the edge there made a pocket and put it in put it put another journal card in there so we have some coffee dyed music paper there and this is the other side of the envelope so I just kind of glued that on there put some washi tape here to kind of clean it up a little bit and I just like the way that looks. Then we have a card here that I just kind of wash it glued in there, put some washi tape, gives you a nice little journal spot in case it's something you don't want, you know, anybody to read, a prayer, whatever, you can put it back there. Then we've got some aged paper, we've made a nice little stamp, looks kind of vintage there, so I like that. Some blank pages, I just took some tissue, glued that on there to give it a decorative touch then I made a little um, shaker I guess and so you've got all the XO's and hearts and the little tic-tac-toe game I love that I thought that was really cute and then some more blank pages this is just a what's it called a doily paper doily that I glued on there and then just put a stamp of a crossword there and then another piece of lace then I just added this back here in case you want to label it or whatever. So yeah, that is my journal. It'll be available 5 p.m. Central Standard Time on my Etsy shop. That is it for today, guys. You guys be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye.